Hi, I'm Kelly Knickerbocker here at Mosaic Arts Online with Simply Abstract Mosaic Line, Shape, and Space. And what I'm going to do in this course is just sort of walk you through my process and approach to abstract mosaic design. And we're going to keep it simple because mosaic is inherently busy, lots of little pieces, lots of lines. So we're going to really concentrate on simple design and diagramming and some basic uh, design principles like balance and rhythm and movement. And we're just going to walk through those things. I'm going to share with you my favorite design resource. And we're just going to talk about how all those things can come together to make a mosaic visually successful. And you'll have the opportunity at the end of the workshop to choose a design or come up with a simple design of your own based on what we've talked about and build your own small abstract mosaic. But it's all about the structure and how line and shape work together and how important those elements are. We're also going to talk about abstracting real objects. Uh, so that's kind of a gateway into abstract. If it's confusing, pick a real object and abstract it. So we'll talk about that as well. Um, and how to keep spontaneity in your designs. Um, you can only think of what you can think of. So we're going to do some exercises to insert a sort of gestural feel or a spontaneity into your abstract designs. So in essence, in essence, that's what we'll be doing. We'll be concentrating on the structure and seeing how many ways mosaic can happen in the abstract with just a few principles and some thinking beforehand about the structure. So let's go, let's do it. I can't wait to see what we do together. Kelly, thank you so much for coming to Mosaic Arts Online. I can't thank you enough for this course and the perspective that you bring to Mosaic Arts Online on all your different courses is mm. so incredible. I'm so grateful and so are all the students. <laughs> thank you, Tammy. It's so fun to be here. Yeah. I enjoy this so much and this is so close to my heart. You know, as you know, abstract mosaic is my jam and, is. and I just, I, I got all choked up at one point. <laughs> When we were talking about this yes. course, because yes. it's just really, it's my heart. It's it my heart right here. It is. And you yeah. have poured it out in such a beautiful and very um, not too technical way so that it really feeds kind of your soul, but it gives it in a really broken down, um, easy to digest course. But can you elaborate a little bit more on what the students will get as we see a little taste of yes. it out here? Yes. And and the whole idea um, was to to definitely break it down to mm. the simple part of exactly. the title. Because mosaic is busy. It's yes. all these little pieces. It's all these lines. And so design can be very, very simple. And it is the skeleton or the framework that the mosaic is built around. Right. You can have the most beautiful materials and amazing materials, but if the structure of the mosaic design, the composition is not steady and holding to some art principles, right. then, you know, it's not as visually successful. So my hope here was just to sort of break down to shape uh, line and mm -hmm. and and uh, line space and shape. Right. <laughs> yeah. So to so just focus on those things. How do they? How do line and shape occupy the space? Um, you know how important are those elements? And so we work with um, diagrams and we show tons of images of my work. Um, to talk about how the the basic framework of design shows up then in the finished work. Right. So 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 we will get a, it's a whole bunch of information. Yes. It's a whole bunch of education from my design Bible, um, <laughs> sort of broken down to um, so you can understand balance and movement yes. and those things, rhythm in your. It doesn't matter if it's mosaic, except. I'm, these principles are good for all kinds of art, yes, of course. but I'm thinking of designing for an already busy medium, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So hence the focus on the simple. We do some diagrams. We do some fun exercises that are, they seem kind of silly, but they are, but they're, uh, they're super clarifying. fun. 
Yeah, I, think they're super I hope so. These yeah. exercises, but I think this course is truly like a semester of art, Whoa. and it is. <laughs> Great. And, I mean, watching <laughs> watching you as I filmed and produced this course with you, it was like I was the student for you know the first time in a really long time. Like I love watching how all the teachers work, but this one I was like. Oh yeah. Oh oh really? <laughs> well, and, so and lots let of me light bulbs. let me mention too that I don't come from an arts background. I don't have any formal art training. Right. So a lot of what I'm learning uh, or what I have learned, I've learned by simply making. Yes. Right? And then so now I'm 15 years in and like over the last 5 years is when I have dived into these resources yeah. and trying to find a vocabulary and a structure for what I think and what I know and what I don't know, which yeah. is a lot, yeah. right? And so, and so that's why even in the course, I encourage people to go like to Rachel's intuitive composition mm -hmm. uh, course, yeah. because it's such a beautiful description of composition and how important and how to get there. And also Annabella's um, color, color theory, theory. Mm -hmm. because I am not a colorist. Yeah. I'm really not. And you see that in my work. There's, there's not a whole lot of color. That's a lot of color. Right yeah. Now. Whoa. <laughs> so, so it's all, it all works together. And so yeah. I'm educating myself. And so I just want to encourage the students that, that, that is, um, you know, you can be like totally fresh to this and yes. not have a formal, formal yeah. training. Mm -hmm. And this is just a basic structure of yeah. some, some tips and tricks and some basic principles that will up your game yeah. and give you success and also help you to think in an abstract way and yes. not just, um, oh, it looks like that. Exactly. So just to kind of, kind of get well, them outside the box. Just so you see, you would learn something as simple as this line drawing yeah. became this piece. Piece, which you will yeah. watch Kelly make in real time yeah. in the course. It is not yeah. a project-based course. This is a technique course to really learn. Theory, lots of I mean, theory. theory. A yeah. theory course to learn more about abstract and how it can be used in your mosaic art. Yeah, sort of a toolbox, how to put it together, exactly. how to structure it so that it works. Exactly. Yeah, so. because mosaic, the, the shapes of our tesserae and the materials are so beautiful. Mm -hmm. All you need is a little hanger to hang mm -hmm. it on, right? Yeah. So so the simplest of structures, we're going to make it beautiful with our yes. material and our lines. Yes. So yes. that's basically what I'm, I'm teaching you how to walk into these simple structures. You know, yes. this is just concentric circles, you know, but the way we position it in the space, the way yes. we abstract it a bit, pull it, push it, yep. you know, all good stuff. Yeah. I, I, I could go on. I, I I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm going to cut you off here because we want the yeah. students to go dive yes, into the go, course and um, find yourself in the world of amazement. And thank you so much for <laughs> My coming pleasure, to Tammy. do this here at Mosaic Arts Online. We are so grateful. It's been a delight. Thank yes. you. Thank you.